Number 10. She never gives up on the people she truly cares about. Despite Sasuke treating Sakura like yesterday's ramen, she stuck to him like a stubborn piece of gum on a shoe. She had the resilience of a cockroach in a nuclear apocalypse, never giving up on her crush even when he was colder than a snowman's backside. And when Naruto came into the picture, she didn't just warm up to him, she practically set up a cozy fireplace. In the forest of death, while Sasuke and Naruto were snoozing like lazy ninjas, Sakura was out there playing hero, risking life and limb to keep them safe. Talk about dedication. She was like their personal bodyguard, except without the cool sunglasses. And let's not forget her pep talk to Rock Lee. She was like, hey, injured guy, here are some flowers to lift your spirits. No, I don't like you like that, but enjoy the flowers anyway. Sakura was spreading positivity like peanut butter on toast, even in the midst of ninja drama and unrequited crushes. Now that's what I call a true ninja with a heart of gold. Number 9. She was an observational and intelligent student, ranking near the top of her class. Back in the day, her battlefield moves were about as impressive as a wet noodle, but don't let that fool you, she had brains for days. She strutted around like a peacock, proud of her top-notch exam scores. You could say she was the Hermione Granger of the ninja world, minus the wand and the pesky troll incidents. Sure, she had her moments of emotional roller coaster rides that could make even Sasuke raise an eyebrow, but when it came to brain power, she was like a ninja Sherlock Holmes. She could sniff out deceit better than a dog on a truffle hunt, and even Sasuke, Mr. Genius himself, had to admit she was a few scrolls ahead in the intelligence department. So, next time you see her on the battlefield, remember, she might not be throwing fireballs left and right, but she'll outsmart you quicker than you can say, Shadow Clone Jutsu. Number 8. Early on, she's able to hide her more negative emotions internally through inner Sakura. Ah, Sakura, the master of poker face and shade throwing. She's like a ninja judge, ready to slam down the gavel on anyone acting petty or childish, especially poor Naruto, who probably gets more lectures than he does ramen servings. But hey, Sakura's not all zen and peace. Deep down, she's got a whole other persona going on, inner Sakura, who's like her personal hype squad and therapist rolled into one. She's so fierce that she can even repel mind control jutsu, leaving Ino wondering if she stumbled into a ninja reality show. So, next time Sakura's giving Naruto or anyone else a piece of her mind, just remember, she's got her own inner battle going on. It's like a ninja soap opera in there, and inner Sakura is stealing the show. Number 7. She realizes when she's treating others unfairly and works to change. Sakura, the queen of tough love, or was it just plain old tough? She gave Naruto the cold shoulder so often, you'd think she mistook him for a popsicle. But hey, after a reality check about her own unrequited crush, she decided to turn over a new leaf and become his cheerleader instead. I guess even ninjas can have a change of heart. And let's not forget about Rock Lee, the guy with the bowl haircut and the jumpsuit that's brighter than the sun. Sakura wasn't exactly his number one fan at first, but after realizing he was more than just a fashion disaster, she started to warm up to him. She even went full florist mode and brought him flowers in the hospital. Who knew Sakura had a soft spot for fashion-challenged ninjas? So, next time Sakura's dishing out the tough love, just remember, deep down, she's got a heart as soft as ninja silk. She might be tough on the outside, but she's a marshmallow on the inside. Number 6. She matures into a self-reliant mother, able to raise her daughter on her own. Sakura, the eternal optimist. Despite Sasuke's disappearing act being worthy of a ninja vanishing jutsu, she's all rainbows and sunshine. While most people would be sharpening their pitchforks and lighting torches, she's over here like, Sasuke loves us, he's just on an extended vacation, for several years. She's like the cheerleader of single ninja moms, raising Sarada with enough enthusiasm to power a small village. Instead of sulking about Sasuke's absence, she's the captain of Team Hope, 
constantly reassuring Sarada that her dad didn't ghost them like a bad Tinder date. So, next time you're feeling down, just remember Sakura, the ninja mom with enough positivity to rival a basket of puppies. She's proof that you can raise a ninja kid with a smile, even if dad's off chasing his ninja dreams. Number 5. She possessed the mental and physical fortitude needed to withstand Tsunade's training. Sakura, the glutton for punishment. Training under Tsunade was like signing up for a ninja boot camp on steroids, and she dove in headfirst like a ninja cannonball. While most people would run for the hills at the thought of such grueling training, Sakura was all in, even if it meant her meals were more pain than pleasure. It wasn't just about the physical torture, oh no, Tsunade had a whole buffet of challenges lined up, including the brain-bending world of medical jutsu. But Sakura didn't flinch, she embraced it like a ninja warrior princess, mastering chakra control like it was a piece of ninja cake. So, next time you think you can't handle that extra set of push-ups, just remember Sakura, the ninja who took on Tsunade and lived to tell the tale. She's proof that with enough determination, you can turn a ninja nightmare into a ninja fairy tale. Number 4. She learns to place herself in harm's way to shield her allies rather than worrying on the sidelines. Sakura, the worrywart ninja. She's like a ninja mom on steroids, constantly fretting over her teammates like they're a bunch of unruly kids at a ninja playground. And let's not forget her early days, when she was about as useful as a screen door on a submarine, needing a rescue just to stay upright in the forest of death. But hey, she didn't let her early struggles hold her back, oh no, she turned that worry into warrior. With a little help from the ninja gods of physical strength and mental fortitude, she transformed into a frontline fighter, ready to protect her teammates with the courage of a ninja lioness. So, next time you're feeling overwhelmed, just remember Sakura, the ninja with a heart bigger than her worry list. She's proof that with a little determination, you can turn your worries into your superpower. Number 3. She takes her feelings of immense guilt and uses them to become better. Sakura, the guilt trip ninja. Leave it to Sai to drop a truth bomb the size of a mountain on poor Sakura, pointing out how Naruto's out there playing ninja hero just to protect her and her Sasuke obsession. Talk about a guilt trip ninja jutsu that hits harder than a punch from Tsunade. But hey, instead of wallowing in guilt like a ninja stuck in quicksand, Sakura pulls a 180 and decides to be the best support ninja Naruto's ever seen. She's like his personal cheerleader, only with more ninja moves and less pom-poms. Instead of sitting on the sidelines like a ninja couch potato, she's out there fighting by his side, showing that she's more than just a damsel in distress. So, next time you feel like you're burdening your friends, just remember Sakura, the guilt trip ninja who turned her guilt into ninja gold. She's proof that even the biggest guilt trip can lead to the biggest ninja comeback. Number 2. She takes her healing duties seriously and doesn't doubt herself. Sakura, the medical ninja extraordinaire. After getting the Tsunade treatment, she's like a ninja doctor on steroids, saving lives left and right like it's ninja happy hour. She's not just keeping hearts beating, she's mixing antidotes like a ninja chemist, saving lives and taking names. And let's talk about her mental game, it's stronger than ninja steel. While most people would be sweating like a ninja in a sauna, Sakura's cool as a cucumber, never doubting her abilities. She's like a ninja superhero, pushing aside any thoughts of failure faster than Naruto can eat ramen. So, next time you need a medical miracle, just remember Sakura, the ninja with the healing touch and mental toughness of steel. She's proof that with enough determination, you can become the ninja doctor you always dreamed of. Number 1. She knows how to get opponents to lower their guard in order to secure an easier victory. Sakura, the ninja master of deception. She's like a ninja chameleon, changing her weakling persona to catch her opponents off guard. It's like ninja mind games on steroids. She'll lull you into a false sense of security, making you think she's about as threatening as a kitten in a ninja outfit. But oh no, Sakura's got a trick or two up her sleeve, and by trick, I mean a fist the size of a wrecking ball. She'll let you think you've outsmarted her, 
only to turn the tables faster than you can say, ninja surprise attack. So, next time you think Sakura is just a pretty face, think again. She's the ninja queen of deception, ready to punch your lights out when you least expect it. And one more thing make sure you subscribe the channel and click the bell notification. Also share this video with your anime friends. I'll catch you later.